Capture One just released a new open beta version and boy, it includes not only a brand new logo, it includes some absolute disruptive game-changing AI tools that would change the workflow of every photographer out there that is shooting people, portraits, fashion, beauty, weddings, you name it. And I believe it will also change the workflow of a whole industry. Why? Because it includes a AI-powered skin retouching tool, which allows you now to basically do a high-end natural skin retouch right in your RAW converter. And the best thing is that this tool even works when you're shooting live tethered. So if your model or the person you're portraiting is checking on your screen while you're shooting tethered, he will see himself already retouched on the screen, which is an amazing new service and feature, I believe. And I tested this the last days myself and I was so amazed that I thought I really need to talk about it and make a video on it. And there is another new tool I want to cover in this video, which is the AI cropping tool. And this tool now allows you basically to not only copy a certain crop to other images, it allows you to apply this crop accordingly to your motive. And it will basically recognize a face or a motive and basically set the crop accordingly where this motif is in the image. And this is also an amazing time saver. Of course, there are many, many other new cool features in this update, which I have to dig in more to talk about it. But these two are really game changing. And that's what we're going to cover in this video. Very exciting times. So let's jump in. To download the Capture One beta version, you log into your Capture One account and then you click here on Capture One Beta, download it, and then you should see in your applications a brand new logo next to your normal Capture One. So here we are in Capture One Studio Beta 16.6, and I already loaded in a session with thumbnail portraits that I did to create funny thumbnails of myself. And this is the shot how we did it in the studio without any look, and I'm gonna apply a look that I already did beforehand and as you can see it's a bit cooler now a bit more contrasty but of course when you go closer i still have a lot of wrinkles and skin imperfections and this is just pure me and to get rid of that i would need to open it now in photoshop and do a manual skin retouch but now in the new capture one we have this amazing new tool up here you click on it and it basically recognizes a face and the cool thing is even when there are multiple faces on one image it will recognize these multiple faces and you can set your settings individual for each face so the first slider we have here is blemishes so this basically removes small imperfections on the skin and if i slide it up gently to 100 percent you can see how we get rid of all kind of skin imperfections and I would say I look almost a bit too smooth for a guy. I mean, it would be awesome if I would have this kind of skin, but of course I don't. So I think I want to take this down to about 70. This looks healthy, but it looks still like me. And the next thing is dark circles. So this is something to get rid of these dark spots underneath the eyes here. And this is also very time consuming to retouch. And if I slide this up gently, you can see how we get rid of these spots. And it's still very natural, like it keeps all the small wrinkles. It kind of just softens the shade. And this is something I really, really like. But I would also not maybe take it up to 100%. Let's keep it here on 80 and the next slider is even skin. And this is something you should handle with care because if you pull it up all the way, I think it just looks a bit too flat, especially for a guy. Maybe this could work for a girl, but I think as a guy, nobody has this kind of smooth skin. So I would be a bit more honest and take it down. And with the texture slide, you can basically bring in um, a bit of sharpness and especially sharpness around the small wrinkles and so on. So I think we also keep this at zero because we don't want it stronger as zero and we don't want it less than that. So I keep this actually on zero. And the last slider is contouring. And this is also super cool because for that you would need basically um, some skills and a graphic tablet to really paint in the shades. So um, you would need to do a curve and say, okay, I want stronger contrast on the side and then basically paint this in manually. And now you can just do it with a slider. 
And when we look at this now, this looks already amazing. And if I think, okay, this might be a bit too strong, I have now a global slider where I can basically reduce all of the settings I just did globally and maybe say, okay, this was a bit too much. I go on 85%. And now let's see how it looked before. So this is basically without a look and without the skin retouching and now the skin retouching. And as you can see, this is super natural. It keeps the small little wrinkles here, but it smoothens out all of the, my dark spots and I look very healthy now. And I can just export it now and work with this image without opening it in Photoshop. And this is such a time saver. And of course, you guys know how time consuming skin retouching is and the best thing is now when I like this I just copy it and apply it to the next image let's say this is the image and I paste it in here and now I've already retouched this face so this is truly amazing let's jump into another image and I apply it and this goes so fast apply and we have also the skin smoothened out and this is so fast. Let's jump to this image. Um, already had a setting here. So this is reality. And now I do the skin retouching copy and I look amazing. So try it out yourself. This is really a game changer. Absolute time saver. Another amazing new tool is the AI cropping tool. And you can find this tool underneath this logo here and then AI crop. And you can set it on subject, you can set it on face or on auto, then it will detect if it's a face or a subject itself. And when I want to crop out something, I set my ratio and let's say I only want to crop out my face in that shot. And so I kind of put it around my face and then I can say, set this as reference and it will basically store this reference. And now I can just choose other images like this. And I have now even vertical and horizontal format and they're all very different cropped. And when I apply reference, it will crop out the same size of my head. And if I do this now, you can see I have my head cropped out automatically and this is such a time saver as well especially if you're working on a lot of images and you have to do lots of croppings which take time now you can automize this and this is really a game changer and this is how easy you can now do natural high-end skin retouching in capture one and you can also crop out your face or your subject in a very smart way that saves you tons of time especially if you're working with hundreds or thousands of images at a time and if you found this video helpful please leave me a like and consider subscribing more content creation lessons are coming i hope i see you in the next video bye